How's everybody doing? Listen, my name is Steve Foreman. I'm the owner of Time and Honey. Today I'm gonna to demonstrate an awesome dish. It is my sweet potato and black bean chili. It's awesome. We're gonna make it together. It is gluten free, it's also vegan friendly, so, but it's got full of flavor so everybody can eat it. Now, we're gonna start with our main ingredients, which we're gonna see here. I have red peppers, diced red peppers, diced Spanish onions, I have some garlic, I have my uh, spices that I'm gonna be using, which is cumin and red pepper flakes, I have some tomato product, I have my two beans that I use, garbanzo beans and black beans, I have some roasted sweet potatoes, I have some chopped up cilantro and olive oil, and of course, salt and pepper to taste. So we're gonna get ourselves ready to jump in and get this dish working. Okay, we're gonna get ready to start making this. So the procedure starts with getting a nice saucepan that we have right here, stainless steel, and we got it on the fire already. I want my pan to be hot first before I add my olive oil. So I'm gonna begin by adding olive oil. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute my peppers and my onions together and caramelize them. Very, very important. So I'm gonna demonstrate that real quick. Got my pan hot, got my oil, and you want that oil to be hot. You want to make sure that oil is hot before we add anything. And you can kind of like see it smoking right there, right? And the sound, listen, this is when you're really cooking. This is the sound of awesome cooking. You ready? Listen to this. Yes. That is cooking, my friend. Starting with our onions. We we'll start with our onions. We're gonna let our onions caramelize for a little bit. Okay, and we'll talk about caramelization in a minute. But I add my onions first. Next, I let them sweat for about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. Then I'm gonna add my diced red peppers. Oh yeah. Got the peppers working and onions. That's the sound of your food cooking, and that's what we want to hear. What we're going to do is, we're going to cook this to caramelization, and I want you to see what it's supposed to look like when it's fully caramelized. We're going to add the garlic in a minute, but I want you to see the color of your peppers and onions, uh, what they should be. Uh, that way you'll know they're properly caramelized, because what happens is, the caramelization provides flavor to your chili. So you want to make sure you cook your onions and peppers long enough to where they're caramelizing and you're getting your flavor. Let's look in this pot again. Now I'm going to add my garlic. We're going to cook all this down. Awesome. So now that it's cooking, we're going to come back in just a little bit so you can start seeing what the color is supposed to be on how the caramelization will look like with the peppers and onions. Be back in just a Okay, I want you to check out what's going on inside my pan. Remember, I was talking about caramelization. Let's look, look at this. So look, you see inside that pan, right? You see how it's even dark right there? That's okay, that's caramelization. What's gonna happen is when I add the liquids to this, it's gonna lift from off the pan and it's gonna make it very flavorful. But the color is looking good because I want to make sure that I am caramelizing my peppers and onion and garlic good enough to get, I want the flavors from my peppers and my onions and my garlic, I want them to sweat. That's what's happening. They're sweating, then they're caramelizing. I want all those flavors to get out and I want to be able to get it ready for when I add my spices and then when I add my tomato product and all the flavors are going to be working together. So it's going to be so good. So what I'm going to do now, you want to take the spices, which we have, which is a little bit of red pepper flake, not a lot. What I can substitute, though, is I can also substitute other kinds of peppers, depending on the heat that you want. So just a few red pepper flakes. And then, of course, cumin. I'm going to add that in there. And I'm going to let them uh, roast inside that pan. I'm going to let them cook in with everything else to let the heat get these spices very uh, flavorful, like it's going to start um, sweating the spices 
and all of the essence of the spices are going to start being released. The fragrance is amazing. It smells so good already. Your, this chili is going to be amazing. Wait till you try your chili when you make it. Just follow these simple instructions. It's going to be so good. So I'm letting the uh, spices cook in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my beans. I got some black beans. And I have some garbanzo beans. I add those in. Again, stirring. Letting all of these flavors mix together. And again, notice all that at the bottom. That's going to come off. That's going to be flavor later on once I add the tomato product. This is going to be so good. So we're going to let this... We're going to let this sit on low heat for about a minute. And when I come back, we're going to start adding the tomato. We're going to add the fresh herb, cilantro. And then we're going to add our already roasted sweet potatoes. And we're going to let it stew, and it's going to be so flavorful. So I'm going to come right back in just 30 seconds. Take a look at this. You see all that at the bottom, right? All that stickiness. Look at how it's coming off. That is flavor. That is the spices, that is the caramelization from the peppers and everything sticking to the bottom of the pan. Once I add my liquids to this, it's going to lift and it's going to um, provide more flavor into the chili. So that's what you want. So now I'm going to take my tomato product and I'm going to add it. Okay. You see that? And sometimes if you want, you can also you can also add a little water. I'm gonna just add just a little water. It's not the recipe, but I control my consistency uh, with water. And now I got this pan going. I'm starting to lift. Look at that. See how it lifted off? You see that? It came off. All that's in the um, broth now. All of this is in the chili itself. It's going to be so flavorful. Once you add your tomato product, you're going to let that cook. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to add my sweet potatoes. Take a, I take a sweet potato, peel it, dice it, small dice, toss in just a little bit of oil, put it on a sheet pan, put it in the oven for 350, at 350 degrees for maybe about 20, 25 minutes. Keep an eye on it. Might be a little bit longer, might be a little shorter. But then once they're done, I cool them. Now with this process, I'm going to add them to my chili. I'm going to stir this. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And once after I do that, now I'm going to add freshly chopped cilantro. Look at that, huh? Absolutely amazing. I'm going to stir that in there. What I do now is I'm going to cover it and I'm going to let it stew. I can let it stew for 15 minutes if I want or I can let it stew for a half hour on low if I want. But just make sure you give it enough time for all of the flavors, the spices, the herb, the vegetables, the garlic, the beans all come together and cook. And then you'll have a wonderful bowl of chili, which you'll see in just 30 seconds. So I'll be right back. Okay, here we are, we're ready. We're at the finish line. Take a look right in here. Look at that. Mm, 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 that looks amazing. We've already added our salt and pepper, seasoned the taste just accordingly, make sure it's good. Got ourselves a little bowl here. Woohoo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Huh? What do you think, people? You ready? Listen, cheers, bon appetit. Try it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time.